Why do we measure distance at sea in nautical miles instead of regular miles? Isn't a mile just a mile? Well, a nautical mile isn't random. It's tied directly to the Earth. One nautical mile equals one minute of latitude. That's one sixtieth of a degree on a globe. So when sailors looked at charts, they wouldn't have to do math gymnastics. One inch on the map lined up directly to how far they traveled. And here's the neat part. Speed at sea uses the same system. A ship's speed is measured in knots, and one knot equals one nautical mile per hour. But why isn't nautical speed measured in nautical miles per hour? It basically got its name from a hunk of wood and a lot of rope. Sailors would toss the wood with rope attached overboard, then count evenly spaced knots that were tied into the rope. This would help determine distance traveled, while keeping time of this with an hourglass also approximated speed. The counting of knots stuck, and to this day is the term used for speed during air or ocean travel. So navigation, charts, and speed all line up perfectly. It's not just theory, either. Nautical miles are still used by ships and planes today because they make international navigation simpler. Air traffic control, maritime law, and GPS all rely on nautical miles, since they're based on the Earth's round shape and work seamlessly with latitude and longitude. That's why even now, sailors and pilots stick with nautical miles. It's the measurement that truly matches the globe.